When we're writing stems on note heads, we always want to pay attention to the third line of the staff, to that middle line of the staff. That's because the middle line is going to be sort of our, our point of demarcation. Anything that is above, any note head that we write that is above the third line, let me write a note head here on that fourth space. And remember, our third line is right here. Um, anything that is above that third line is going to have a stem that goes down and to the left. Any note head that is below that third line, I'm going to put a note head here on the first line, is going to go up and to the right. So notice that when I when I write uh, when I write my stem to my note head to the down uh, for the down note uh, for the down stem it's sort of attached to the lower end to the left end of the note head here when i write my up stem it's attached to the top end to the right end of the note head if by the way uh, you have a note head that is right on the third line um, you have the option you can either make the stem go up or the stem go down. Stems are not an arbitrary length. Stems are a very precise length. And stems are always going to be one octave long. Meaning, um, let me go back to uh, writing a note head right here on the first line. If that note head was in treble clef, that would be the line E. So that means that my stem, which is going to go up because I'm below the third line, is going to go right to the middle of the E space, one octave up right here, just like that. Now I'm not going to write, I'm not actually going to write that little guideline there. I'm just writing that as a demonstration. So what it would look like is this. Here's my first line note head. And I'm going to go right up into the middle of what would be an octave above that. Uh, suppose I started on the first space, which in treble clef would be F. My stem is going to go up into the right, and it's going to go right up to that what would be the F line in the treble clef. So we always want our, our stem length to be very precise. Um, let me show you what that looks like going down, because the same thing is going to happen going down. Um, so let's put a let's put a note head on. Here we go. Let's put a note head on the f uh, the fourth space here. Again, that would be the E space if we were in treble clef. I'm above the third line, so my stem is going to go down into the left, and it's going to hit that E line that would be an octave below. Uh, same thing if I started on F up here. Since the octave below F would be in the first space, my stem is going to go right to the middle of that first space. Um, suppose I was to go on the third line, what would be in treble clef C. Imagine that there is a C one octave below, and that C, remember, would be on the ledger line. So I'm going to come down with my stem, and I'm going to hit what would be that imaginary ledger line right here. So my, so my stem length is still exactly one octave long. Now that's going to hold true for most of the note heads we write, but there's one exception to that rule, and I'm going to tell you that exception right now. If we we write a note head that is more than two ledger line that is I'm sorry that is two or more ledger lines away from the staff. Suppose I write uh, a note head up here on the second ledger line above the staff. Or suppose I write a note head up here that is uh, beyond 
two ledger lines. Let's make this three ledger lines up here. And I really should have uh, made the ledger lines first, but I'm doing a little shortcut here. Um, two, if a node head is two or more ledger lines above or below the staff, then the stem is going to go all the way to the third line. So it's going to be a little bit extra longer than we, than we were writing it before. Here we go. There we go. And the reason for this, and that, that, that happens sort of below the staff as well, the reason for this is that it, it visually keeps us, um, when sometimes notes that are on lots of ledger lines can be difficult to read. And having the stem go all the way to the third line sort of visually keeps us attached to the staff, just like that. There you go. Now you know how to write stems for notes in the staff and stems for notes that are on ledger lines.